today on Be Something Wonderful. When I dropped this belief, my life changed overnight. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. A big morning this morning, big video. I talked with a client yesterday that it's been a while. And, and what she said is, Tom, I waited to talk to you to make sure that I am, that this really is a new version of myself, that I am in my new reality, right? But I, I, as I said to her, I said, well, only you decide that, right? But what I want to talk about, this is what she said. This was a specific person situation, but it can apply to anything, which we had talked about yesterday, other areas of her life that, that she really wants to see this type of movement. This is what she said. I, I, I really embodied the idea this time. Uh, I really embodied the idea this time. In other words, to stop dwelling and recreating the past. So the idea she's talking about is that she was really stuck on things that happened in the past with this specific person, right? And, and so although she felt like she was imagining her future, her wish fulfilled, what she wanted, she was really dwelling on the past. She was really stuck. And, and as I talked to her about, when you, when you think about the past, when you remember the past, when you light up the past, you're creating the past. You're recreating it in every moment. So we talked about that idea. And she goes, she really embodied this idea about dropping the past, that it's an alternative reality. It's an alternative version of her. It's an alternative version of her SP or her specific person. And to move in to that present, just look at the past as one possible alternative reality, one probability out of an infinite number of probabilities that you can either drop or light up again right now, right? She goes, I really embody this idea. And she goes, talk about your phone blowing up. So this is why she said she waited. Her phone blew up. I'll talk about what she did and, and how she did it, right? But again, it, it's conviction, but there's some more to this. And she wanted a way to make sure that it wasn't just her phone blowing up, that they're together, right? And here's what she said. I woke up to a half a dozen sweet, this is her words, messages from him. It was, if, it was as if, it was as if I erased the past history with us. Wow, because she did, right? When you're not lighting it up, it returns to the probabilities. It returns to the quantum field of possibilities. So it's like it's a race. It's now just potential until she or unless she decides to revisit it again and recreate it. For three nights, she meditated on the new reality. New me and him is what she said. When she says meditated, she was imagining a wish fulfilled. But the first night was just about, uh, just about not dwelling on the past, letting go of the past, completely letting it go and, and, and moving into a new version of her. The next two nights, it was a scene of her and him together. right? And she totally dropped the past to return to reality. Then she says, after eight months of nothing, I woke up to this. I just dwelled on a new version of us. Here's the thing. And she got this from a, as we chatted, she was referring to a few videos that I've talked about. When you dwell on the past, you recreate it. When you dwell on the past, you create or remember it. Right? Remember, rem memory is just an imaginal act of something that you believe is in the past. Right? But remember, it's a mental image. You're recreating it at the moment. She just said, they decided to not dwell on the past, but dwell on the new version of her or the new version of us. This is what she said. So, so she included him in this. But it really, remember, it's really about her because everything comes out of her. So I want to really hit this today like we never have before. Remember, and this is what I had talked to her about during our sessions, your past has no link to and is not the cause of your present experience. I talked about this in actually in a video, it's, it was probably a couple of years ago now, that one of you commented, one of you subscribed, commented on I think last night or the night before. So I thought, oh yeah, that's a cool video. I'll go back, I wanna go back and look at that video. And I, I pulled out a few tidbits from that, but really this is what we had talked about during our sessions. Your past has no link to, is not the cause of your present experience, rather, it's your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions 
and story about the past that creates, right, that creates your entire life experience and reality right now. Do you hear it? It's not the past that creates anything. It's your thoughts, beliefs, and assumptions right now, your story about the past that creates your entire life experience and reality right now and recreates that past. Wow, that's powerful. And, and, the, and when we had first talked, she goes, well, I can't change the past. But, but in fact, you can by stop dwelling on it. Do you see it? You, can, you change it by stop dwelling on it. And, and in this moment, create something new. That's really what we talked about. There's no past to change. There's only your beliefs, assumptions about it that create and recreate those mental images, right? Those memories in the present moment. Past does not exist unless you remember it, unless you think about it. Remember in the movie Solaris, I remembered her wrong. Somehow I got it all wrong or I remembered it all wrong, right? It's a, so your past, there's no past to change. It's your beliefs and assumptions right now about it that create or recreate it in this moment. So, in every now moment, you are in a new reality and new version of yourself that has no connection, no link to who you were or the past unless you recreate it. Think about it. Right now, this is you in your current frame. And you can either light up a past frame, a, recreate a past memory, remember something from the past, or you can, you can light up your new future. You have it all here. All frames exist. All possibilities exist. All potential exists. All time, all possible versions of yourself exist right now. The question is, what are you going to light up? What are you going to remember? What are you going to imagine? This is really what you got. Look at this. It's quite powerful visual of what's going on, right? You can either be unhappy and light up that past frame, or you can light up that future frame. They're both the same. They're both images right now in that quantum field and that sea of potential. So remember, imagination is the only reality. Whether you are remembering the past or imagining the future, you're imagining and creating your experience of reality right now. That is the present moment, right now, right? Your assumptions of beliefs are the only reality. Your story, your inner speech, your inner talking is the only reality. Your, your, the now moment is the only reality. I really want to hit this because this is what she got, right? And, and so don't dwell on your past. Well, we talked about that. That's not just a, 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 a tired cliche that people say. It's not some worn out cliche. It's a deep metaphysical principle, right? What, whatever you dwell on, you create. In other words, you experience, you perceive, you manifest, you receive in the present moment, in that eternal moment, the only moment of now. It becomes your dwelling place, like scripture and Jesus talks about, right? Where you're preparing your entire life experience, right? In my father's house are many dwelling places. Places in that, in, that, in that consciousness, in that greater consciousness, right, are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. Jesus, that's your I am that's telling you the truth of who you are. That's you, your I am, telling you that you're, when you're dwelling on the past, you're preparing your entire life experience. You're preparing your place. What are you going to dwell on? That's the question, right? So... Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I like that. That came from an old, an old video, a couple of videos that I did. You, I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then. Hear about in my father's house. There are many uh, mansions or dwelling places or rooms, right? In other words, I was a different version of myself. There are infinite versions. That's what Alice is saying here. I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person. In other words, I was a different version of myself. But yet, you, when we dwell in the past, we keep lighting up that old version. You're not that anymore. But when you remember it, you become it, you recreate it, you imagine it. The past 24 hours, this is what Alice says, have changed so much, have, have changed me so much, that it's as if the earlier adventures didn't even happen to me at all, but to, but to another version of myself. Think about this, that the shocking metaphysical lesson here in, Alice, in, in Alice's Avengers in Wonderland. She says it. It lays it out right here. The past 24 hours have changed me so much that it's if it, the earlier adventures didn't even happen to me at all, but another version of myself. This is what happened to my client. 
okay? And when she says overnight, she means each night, right? As she, she did it for three days, right? For three nights. But it was, and she knew after the first night, it was different. She's in that different version of herself now. She just needs to light up what she wants now, right? And, and think about this. It, it's a, but another version, this is what my client felt, right? It's as if the earlier, event, the, the earlier things with her and that specific person didn't even happen, but to another version. Right? In my client's case, it was three nights, 72 hours, a new version, new reality, new experience of reality. But actually, right after the first night is when she, she decided to move from that past, not to dwell on that anymore. And then she lit up what she wanted to see. So yeah, she woke up to her phone blowing up with sweet messages, but they're back together. It's like a different reality. She goes, Tom, it's like we're different people. You are. Because you're different, he's different, it's all different, right? When, when I drop this belief, in other words, the belief that the past causes the present and, and the present causes the future, that belief that the past is solid and that it exists, she dropped that and her life changed overnight. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. You can also visit our Facebook uh, group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. We have also have a, uh, an organization page just to at Be Something Wonderful on Facebook. You can go and visit that. We have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. And just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen with Be Something Wonderful. We'll see you soon.